Hello, my little yarnivores and spiderettes. Fiber Spider back again with another tutorial just for you. Now today, this is actually a variation of a previous tutorial that I did. It was for a shawl that I called the Arbor Shawl because of all of the lovely little leaf motifs. And then after some time, I did some tweaking and some figuring and finagling in my little spider way, and I came up with a way to make it into a square blanket so that the, the leaves all radiate outwards. And it's actually just as easy as the Arbor Shawl itself. It's very simple. It's very lacy, very lovely. And this size actually is, I would say, you know, a, a fair sized throw sized blanket. Keep in mind that yes, it is a square format. You can make it whatever dimensions you want. Um, as far as the, the size of the square, just keep going with the repeat, which of course I'm going to show you. No, I do not have a written pattern. And that's why I'm going to try to do a nice and thorough sort of tutorial for you. Now, for this piece, I used, do do do. Red Heart Super Saver, one of my good old go-tos, in the colorway of Dark Jade, which I thought lent itself to this project very, very nicely. And so we're going to be using that today. And also, I used a size I crochet hook, which is a 5.5 millimeter hook. You can use whatever yarn, whatever hook size works for you for this project. By all means, go right ahead. Um, you know, I just like to let you know what it is that I'm using so that you can duplicate the results yourself. Now, I do think also that this particular project would be lovely in a color change yarn uh, colorway like Mandala or Karen Cakes, although I would not recommend a colorway where the colorway changes every inch or so. I think that would be very, very distracting to the effort that you're putting in to make the, the leaf motifs. So that being said, without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty, starting with round one. Okay, so to begin with, you don't need a particularly long tail, but uh, I'm going to start with a slip knot, but of course. Now, you could start with chaining up, say, you know, four or five, and then slip stitching to create a ring. However, I like this method a little bit better. I've done this several times on previous projects. Um, so we're going to start by chaining up three, oops, hmm, two, three, one more. So that counts as a double crochet, and our first chain is going to count as sort of our magic ring, okay? So we have our initial ring, a double crochet, and now in between our initial double crochets, it's going to be three chains. So add three more, one, two, three. So it is in fact a chaining of seven chains, and then into that first chain, a double crochet, like so. So technically we have a double crochet, a chain three, another double crochet, and we're going to need a total of, let me see, three, four, five. Okay, we need a total of eight double crochets. So chain three again, one, two, three, double crochet into that same first chain that we just went into. Okay, like so. Chain three again. One, two, three. Double crochet into that same chain. So we have one, two, three, four. We need four more. Chain three. One, two, three. Double crochet into that same chain. Chain three. One, two, three. Another double crochet into that same chain. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, I need two more. Chain three, one, two, three. Double crochet again into that same chain. There we go. Chain three, one, two, three. 
And last but not least, double crochet into that same initial chain. Now you know me, I always like to double check. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. And then quite simply, chain three. And we need to do a slip stitch into the top of this first double crochet, which is the third chain up like so. Or you have three chains. See, we have our double here. So you could go one, two, three chains, and then into the fourth. So you could go from down, from under to up, or from left to right over. So that being said, going to do our slip stitch like so. And as far as the center, you can always cinch, you know, you can just pull your tail and cinch that uh, initial round opening closed. So we have our first round, which is a total of eight double crochets separated by chain three spaces. And that's the end of round one. Alrighty, round two. So, for round two, we're going to start by chaining up three. One, two, three, okay? And then we need to do an additional three chains because this chain three counts as a double. And then we need a chain three space in between, so one, two, three. So it is a chaining of six, okay? Then into this first double crochet here, or, you know, well, the, the second spoke, so to speak, we're going to do three double crochets. One, two, and three, okay? Chain three. And into the next spoke, the next double crochet, just a double crochet, chain three, and into the next spoke, three double crochets. So that's one, two, three, chain three one double crochet into the next spoke. Chain three. Three double crochets into the next spoke. Chain three one double crochet into the next spoke or double crochet. I like calling them spokes sometimes because it almost reminds me of like a, a wagon wheel, if you will, or a bicycle wheel. All right, so I've got one more. So chain three and then into this last one here, three double crochets. Okay, now we need to connect to the double crochet that we started with. So bridging the gap, we chain three, and then into the third chain, one, two, and three, going to slip stitch into that third from the bottom or the fourth from the top side, either or. And so you're just slip stitching like so. And that is the end of round two. Now obviously it looks like a circle at the moment, but don't worry, that will change <laughs> um, to be sure. So we're going to keep on keeping on, and that's the end of round two. 
Alrighty, round three. So for round three, it's going to be pretty much the same start as we did for round two, where we need to start with a double crochet and a chain three space. So we're going to chain six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we need to have this cluster increase. So into the first double crochet, we need to do two double crochets. So that is one and, oops, two. Okay. One double crochet into the middle one, the second, and then two double crochets into the third. So we're going from three double crochets to a total of five double crochets. <clears throat> then chain three and double crochet, one double crochet into the double crochet, just one for one. Okay. Chain three. And we need to increase this cluster again. So that is two double crochets into the first double crochet. One into the next. And then two double crochets into that third double. Okay. So again, we went from three doubles to a total of five doubles. All right, so chain three, double crochet into the double crochet. Chain three. Need to increase this cluster, so two double crochets into the first. one into the second, and two into the third. Okay. Chain three. One double crochet into the next double crochet. Chain three again. And we need to increase this cluster. So again, it is two double crochets into the first. One into the second. And two into the third. All right. And we have come full circle. Yes, we have. So again, chain three because we need to bridge the gap. So after chaining three, we do a slip stitch into the one, two, three, the third chain of our initial chaining of six. And there we go, my yarn split, okay. Ta -da! All right, and that is the end of our third round. Now I'm going to lay this out for you so that you can see what it is that I see. So your piece should look something like this. So you can see it has sort of a granny-esque sort of quality about it as far as, yes, it's done in the round, yet it is a square format, okay? So that is the end of round three, and we're going to keep on keeping on. All right. All righty, round four. So for round four, things are going to change a little bit, but of course, right? So we're going to start by chaining up one, two, three for our initial double crochet, and then just one more. 
Okay, this is where things are going to, you know, start to change a bit. So after chaining up four into this same double crochet right here, do a double crochet. So it's in essence, a double crochet, chain one and a double crochet all into that same first space right there. Okay, then chain three. <clears throat> Okay, and we need to make this grouping increase once again. So into the first double crochet, two double crochets, and then one in each till we reach the last one where we're going to do another increase. So these leaves go from three doubles to five to seven. Okay, so we did our first two, then three regular ones, and then in the last one, two double crochets in the same stitch. So as you can see, three, then five, and then seven. And that's as wide as they get as far as these leaves are concerned. All right, so then chain three again. Okay, and we're gonna do here on this double crochet very similarly to what we did here because we need these to branch out. This is only half of the branch because this is where we started, but you'll see what I mean when we get full circle. So now into this double, okay, it's going to be a double crochet chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. So it's the beginnings of some more leaves, okay? Sort of the branching out <laughs> Okay, that was bad. All right, so continuing right along, chain three, and we need to make this leaf grow out further. So again, into the first double crochet, we need two double crochets. All right, and then one in each until we reach the last one. We reached the last one, so it's two into the last one. There we go. So again, we have seven at the top there, right here. Chain three. And into the double crochet here, it's a double, chain one, double, chain one, double. So we've got our double chain one, double, chain one, and double. So it's three doubles separated by a chain one space each. So chain three again, and into the first double, we need two we need to increase this leaf outwards still. So that's two in the first, and then one in each for the next three. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice it seems. Okay, and then in the last one, two doubles. Okay, chain three, and into this double again, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet, chain three, and we have one more leaf that we need to grow outward. So 
two doubles into the first. A double into each of the next three. And then two doubles into the last. Okay, and we have come full circle. So now we need to finish this cluster here so that it looks like one of these, right? So to do that, after increasing this leaf, we chain three, and then we need to do a double crochet into this stitch right here. like so. So we went into the base right there, chain one, and then slip stitch into the third chain of this middle starting double crochet. So we have yet another cluster of three doubles separated by a chain one space right there. Alrighty. So as you can see, things are starting to take shape. Yes, indeed. All right, so that's the end of round four. All right, round five. Okay, so now for round five, we are going to start by chaining up six because we need, again, our initial chaining up of three for a double crochet, and then another chain three space. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, okay? Then into this first double crochet over here, three double crochets. So that's one, and two, and, whoops, and three. Voila. Then, now as I said, the leaves do not get any wider than seven wide, so now we need to start decreasing. So, after doing our chaining of six and three doubles, chain three, and skipping this first double, going into the next double with a double, and the next four, and we're gonna skip that last one. So again, we're going back down to five doubles. Saying we're skipping the first one and we're going to skip the last one. So we went from three to five to seven, back down to five. All right, so chain three again. One, two, three. Okay, now into the first double, three double crochets. One, two, and three chain three, into the center double, just one double, chain three, and into the third double of the previous round, three doubles. Okay, so that is how your corner should look right now. So three doubles, chain three, one double, three chains. I'm sorry, did I say that right? Three doubles, chain three, one double, chain three, three doubles. Okay, and so now these two clusters here are going to become new leaves. Yes, and that is how this increasing will perpetuate itself. So now 
we have to decrease this leaf, of course. So chain three, skipping the first double, going into the next one with the double. And we need a total of five because again, from three to five to seven, back down to five again. And of course my yarn is splitting. All right, and so we have this five doubles done, all right? So chain three again, and into the first double of this threesome here, three double crochets into the first, chain three, one double crochet into the middle one, chain three, and three double crochets into that third. Alrighty, well, come on. <laughs> I am having issues, I apologize. There we go. All right, so then we just keep doing this around. So chain three, skipping the first double crochet going into the next and four more for a total of five double crochets once again. Okay. So again, we skip the first, we're skipping the last. Chain three. Okay, going into this corner cluster here, into the first three doubles. Chain three. Into the middle one, one double crochet. And then chain three and into the third three double crochets. Okay. And we are on the home stretch. So we're almost there. Chain three. Skip the first, go into the next, and four more for a total of five double crochets. Okay, so we've got our five. Chain three. All right, so we've come to our beginning. So into this double crochet right here, three double crochets. That's one, two, and three. Okay. Then chain three, and then into the third chain, one, two, and three slip stitch, if I can get in there. <laughs> there we go. All right. And so that is the end of round five. Now I'm just gonna lay this out for you real quick so that you can see what we have going on here. Just like to spread it out a little for you. All right, so you can see that we have some new clusters, some new leaves forming, and our pre-existing ones are shrinking down. All right, and so we're just gonna keep on going. That was the end of round five. All right. All right, round six. All right, so to begin with, yep, another chaining up of six. So 
one, two, three, four, five, and six, because we need our double crochet and a chain three space. Now we need to grow this cluster out. So into the first double, we need two doubles. So that would be one and two. One into the center. And then two in the third. All right, so again, we went from three to five. Mm -hmm. So chain three, always a chain three space, which is great for that sort of mindful stitching or mindless repetition, whichever you choose. So now we need to make this leaf shrink yet further. So we're skipping the first one, going into the next three doubles, one in each. Like so. Because again, from three to five to seven to five, back down to three, chain three. Okay, and now we need to make this one grow. So two in the first, one in the second, and two in the third. From three to five, once again. Chain three, one double crochet into the double crochet in the corner. Chain three, and we shall continue on just as we have initially. So into this cluster, two double crochets into the first double. One into the second. And two into the third. From three to five. Okay, chain three. Okay, and we need to make this one shrink. So skipping the first, going into the next three doubles, one in each. Okay, chain three. Because again, we're skipping the first and the last. So chaining three, making this next cluster grow. Two in the first. One in the second. And two in the third. From three to five. Chain three, and into this corner, one double crochet into the double crochet. Come on. I mean, as much as I love this yarn, sometimes the splitting is really quite aggravating, but ultimately I think it's worth it in the end. All right, so then chain three again. And we need to make this cluster grow. So two into the first. Okay, one into the second. And then two into the third. All right. And moseying right along, chain three, skip the first, and then three into the next three. So that's one, two, and three. 
Okay, chain three. Make this cluster grow. So it's two in the first. And I hope I'm not confusing you by saying two in the first, two in the last. I, I always mean double crochets because that's really what this project is. It's a matter of chain stitches and double crochets. So two double crochets in the first, one double crochet in the second, two double crochets in the third. Sometimes I just assume perhaps too much, but you know it's essentially a lot of repetition. And since the stitches are predominantly all the same type, I just, I assume, you know, perhaps that's a mistake, but it's what I do. All right, so we went again from three double crochets to five. Let's chain three again, working our way to the corner once again. <clears throat> so it's one double crochet into this double crochet here. Okay, chain three, making this cluster grow outward. So it's two double crochets into the first. All right, then one double crochet into the second and two double crochets into the third. All righty chain three and making this middle leaf shrink down so skipping the first going into the next three double crochets one in each like so chain three and then making this cluster grow out as well. Two double crochets into the first. One double crochet into the second. And two double crochets into the third. There we are. Okay, and we have come full circle. All right, so chain three, because we need to bridge that gap. Then into the third chain, one, two, and three, this one right here, we're gonna do a slip stitch like so. All right, so we have our, our clusters in our corners. They are growing outwards and we have our ones in the middle shrinking down. All right, and that's the end of round six. All right, round seven. Okay, now it's gonna be very similar to what we have been doing. Now, a great way of knowing where you're at is a little trick that I'm about to show you. All right, so down here, in the very center, it's where we started. And then it was, you know, in the beginning, you know, just a, a regular double, then a regular double, and then the branching out. So then we have a regular double, a regular double. Now we need another branching out. So it's every third round, it's another branching out. And that is part of the repeat, you know, don't worry, you know, this will all become clear. All right, so again, to do the branching out, as we had down here, we need to chain up four, one, two, three, four, because we need a double in a chain one space. Then into that same stitch right down here, another double, because we need to have three total. Now, when we come again full circle, there will be another double into that same stitch uh, and a chain one, and then making it into our trio right there. So here, we need to have this one branching out further. So after chaining three into the first double, two doubles, OK, 
okay? Then into the next three doubles, one double crochet into each. And then into the last double, two doubles. Because from three to five to seven, so we chain three once again. Now we need to decrease this, this one once more. So skipping the first, doing a double crochet into the second middle stitch, like so. And then skipping the last one, okay? Then chain three, and have this one grow out. So two doubles into the first. And then one in each for the next three. And then two in the last. There we go, so we've got our seven here. Chain three. Now we need to do our branching out once again, so it will be into this double crochet here. A double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and another double crochet. So we have our branching out again. Okay, chain three. And then going on to the next, we need to branch this out further. So two double crochets into the first. Okay, then one in each of the next three. There we go. And then two into the last one. Like so. Chain three. Skipping the first, going into the middle double crochet with a double crochet. Like so. Chain three. Because we also need to skip that last one. All right, then into the first double crochet, we need two doubles. And then one into each of the next three. And then two into the last. All right, and yes, my yarn is giving me trouble. All right, so then continuing right along, we've reached our corner point once again. So chaining three and into this double crochet. It's a double crochet, chain one, oops. And another double crochet, chain one, and a third double crochet. So we've got our cluster there. Chain three, and into the first double crochet stitch, we need two. And then one into the next three. So that's one, two, and three. And then two into the last. Okay, chain three. 
Okay, skipping that first one, going into the middle double with a double. Chain three. Making this next segment, segment leaf thing grow. <laughs> we need to do two into the first. Okay, one into each of the next three. And then two into the last. Okay. And we reached the final side. Hoorah, hooray. So I'm going to chain three. And then into this double. We need to do a double crochet. Chain one and another double crochet, chain one, and a third double crochet, like so, so that we have an another cluster. All right, so then chain three, and let's make this leaf grow out a little bit further. So that's two double crochets into the first double crochet and then one into each of the next three. Okay, and then two into the last. Okay, chain three. One double crochet into the second double crochet. and then chain three again, and then into that first double crochet, two double crochets, one into each of the next three, and then two into the last for this leaf, chain three, yep, and then double crochet into the base of this cluster here where we stitched before. Chain one and then slip stitch into the third chain from the bottom on this middle double crochet here. Like so, so we have our finished cluster. All right, and that's the end of round seven. And you can get a better idea as to what I am doing here. Awesome, so very pretty. All right, so that's the end of round seven. All right, round eight. So to begin with, we are going to chain up six. One, two, three, four, five, six for our double crochet and chain three space. Then into this next double crochet, we need three double crochets because we need to start some new leaf growth. So that's three doubles into this first double crochet right here. Okay, chain three. And now since we've reached the limit, the seven here, we need to start shrinking this one down. So skipping the first, going into the second like so, and then four more doubles for a total of five. So that's three, four, and five. Okay, chain three. 
Now we need to grow this middle leaf out again. So into this double crochet, three double crochets into that same one. Like so. Okay, chain three. Shrinking this leaf down, we skip the first one and then do a double crochet into each of the next five doubles. That's two, three, four, five. Okay, chain three and into the first double of this trio, the first one, three doubles. Like so, chain three, into the center middle one, just one double. chain three, into this third one here, three doubles. Like so. Okay, chain three. Okay, need to shrink this leaf down, so skipping the first, going into the next five double crochets, one in each. Okay, chain three, into this single double crochet, three double crochets. Chain three, skipping the first, going into the next five double crochets, one in each. And admittedly, this pattern, it may look on the surface to be very complex, but once you realize where you're at, it's really not that bad. And I know I often say that, um, but I, I really do believe that to be the case, because at any given point, you can just look at your pattern and see where you're at. So we skip the first and the last. We have our five up here, chain three and then into this first double crochet, three double crochet stitches. Like so, chain three, double crochet into the center, double crochet, chain three, and then three double crochets into this next one, because we have to grow this one out too. So it's two and three. Okay, chain three, skipping the first, going into the next five doubles, one in each. Three, four, and five. Okay. <clears throat> Chain three. And then into this double crochet here. Three double crochets. Okay, three more chains, skipping the first, going into the next five double crochets, one in each. So 
So that's three, four, and five. Chain three. Okay. Sorry, my yarn just keeps getting annoying here. I'm sorry. All right, so then we reached the corner once again. So in that first double crochet, three double crochets. Like so, chain three one double crochet into the center double, chain three, and then three double crochets into this third double. Like so. All right, we've reached the last edge here, which is great. Chain three, Skip the first, go into the next five double crochets, one in each. That's four and five. Chain three into this single double crochet, three double crochets. That's one and two, and three, chain three, skipping the first, going into the next five double crochets, one in each, two more, There we go, and then chain three, all right, so now after chaining three here, we're going into this first double crochet of this three cluster with three double crochets. Like so. Then chain three and into the third uh, chain stitch, one, two, and three, do a slip stitch. Ta da! And that's the end of round eight, which is actually going to be for now the end of this part. Although I'm not done with you yet. Mm -mm, nope. I'm also going to show you another repeat as well as how to add a lovely border to this piece. So this is the end of part one. Alrighty. So listen, I really hope that you're enjoying this series. Um, you know, as always, I really try to be as thorough and as comprehensive as possible because I know how frustrating and daunting it may be. But, you know, how I always try to put it is this, you know, things may seem intimidating and that's okay. That's perfectly natural. But never, ever, ever let that fear of trying something new get in the way of you growing as a stitcher and learning from your possible mistakes, you know, as long as you're learning something from the experience, they're not mistakes, they're learning experiences. It, it's okay, you know, branch out, you know, think outside of the box. If I hadn't, you know, me personally, if I hadn't thought outside of the box, you know, this would still be a shawl, you know, but I decided, hmm, can I make this into a square? So through these little happy accidents and these, you know, experimentations, we can all learn something, all right? So keep that in mind, you know, well, we're all growing as stitchers and as a community. So with that being said, if you are enjoying this, please hit that little thumbs up button down below to show your support. It means the world to me. 
Also, I would love to hear your comments as always. And if you'd like to see more, especially part two of this series, please hit that the, uh, the little subscribe blah, blah, subscribe button <laughs> in order to see more because I do try to post as often as I can, whether it be crocheting or knitting tutorials, audiobook narrations, or on my other YouTube channel, Fiber Spider Games, uh, you know, video game playthrough and commentary. So listen, I hope you have a great, great day and that you stay inspired, caffeinated, and above all, stitching. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.